If you're watching this right now, you're probably a member of the California Democratic Party or interested in how it works. This video covers some basics about the structure of the party and roles people play in it. You've probably heard about the Democratic National Committee and the convention it has every four years to select a Democratic nominee for president. Well, we also have a state party convention every year to make decisions about the California Democratic Party. The group that meets at the state party convention is known officially as the Democratic State Central Committee, or DSCC. And members of the DSCC are often called delegates to the state party. Now, there are three basic ways for someone to become a state party delegate. First, each of the 58 counties in California can have a body known as the Democratic County Central Committee. The members of these committees are elected on the Democratic primary ballot in even-numbered years or are subsequently appointed by elected members to fill any vacancies that may exist. These committees are the Democratic Party of their county and are established and governed by California election law, so they are technically separate organizations from the state party. These county committees are charged with growing the party locally, helping volunteers plug into election-related activities, and importantly, deciding both the Democratic Party position on local ballot measures and deciding who the Democratic Party supports in local, nonpartisan races within the county. Since both Democratic County Central Committee and its abbreviation DCCC are kind of a mouthful, those terms are often avoided in favor of alternatives. In addition to being referred to as the Democratic Party of their county, they are sometimes called County Central Committees or simply County Committees. When it comes to abbreviations, they are usually just called DCCs, with only two Cs, because the official name of any particular county committee begins with the proper name of the county they govern, followed by the words Democratic Central Committee. For example, the Los Angeles County Democratic Central Committee, or Los Angeles County DCC, and the Madera County Democratic Central Committee, or the Madera County DCC. Because they're separate organizations, not every member of a Democratic County Central Committee necessarily becomes a delegate to the state party. Instead, the state party gives each county party a number of delegate slots that the county party can fill in accordance with their own rules and bylaws. The number of delegate slots allocated to each county committee depends on the number of registered Democrats in the county. It's up to the county central committees to decide who they want to send as delegates. And in some counties, you don't have to be an elected member of the county central committee to be a delegate to the state party. The only stipulation is that delegates to the state party must be as evenly divided as possible between men and women. Another way to become a delegate to the state democratic central committee is to be elected as a delegate by Democrats in your assembly district. There are 80 such districts in California. Every two years, there's an election at a meeting called the Assembly District Election Meeting, or ADEM. These meetings happen in January of odd-numbered years. You can run to be a delegate or come to the ADEM and vote for delegates if you're a registered Democrat in the Assembly District and have been since the registration deadline of the previous general election. Newly naturalized citizens and folks that turned 18 after the registration deadline can also participate if they register as Democrats at the meeting. At the ADEM, 12 delegates to the state party are elected to represent the Assembly District. If at all possible, given the group of candidates, six of the delegates must be men, and six of the delegates must be women. The delegates elected at the ADEM are often among the most active Democratic volunteers in their district. Many consider the Assembly District delegates, as they're called, along with delegates from the county committees to be representatives of the grassroots volunteer base of the party. The final way to become a delegate comes from those who win the Democratic primary of state house races or races for California's constitutional offices, such as governor, secretary of state, etc. Everyone who wins the Democratic primary in a race like that becomes a delegate to the party. And each of them also has a number of delegate slots they can fill by appointment. The superintendent of public education is a nonpartisan statewide race for which there is no primary. But the Democrat who receives the most votes in that race is treated like a Democratic primary winner. Collectively, the Democratic primary winners and their appointees make up about a third of the total delegates to the state party. Those are the three main ways to become a delegate. But here's a tip. If a delegate cannot attend a convention, they can appoint someone to be what's called their proxy, which allows that person to vote in the place of the delegate who can't attend. It's always a good idea to talk to your regional director or the chair of your county committee a couple months before the convention if you want to proxy, because there are often delegates looking for someone to proxy for them. 
wow, the state central committee is big. So how does it make decisions? Well, it's divided in a couple of other ways to help out with this. First, there are the officers. The statewide party officers are elected for four-year terms by the delegates of the state party convention held after a presidential election. The statewide officers include the state chair, who is the CEO and official voice of the state party and directs a lot of the party operations, one male vice chair, and a female vice chair to assist the chair in his or her duties, the secretary, who maintains the records of the party, and the controller, who has access to and reports on the financial affairs of the state party. In addition, in odd-numbered years, about 20 regional directors are elected for two-year terms by the delegates in their region. The regions are determined based upon assembly district boundaries, with each region containing a specified number of assembly districts. The regional directors serve an important role and help link the delegates, elected officials, county committee members, and volunteers with one another and with the state party. On a day-to-day -day basis, most of the decisions are made by the party officers and party staff. However, the officers and staff can't make all the decisions about the state party, and it's impractical to bring the entire delegation together more than once a year. So there is also an executive board of the state party that meets a couple times a year, which is empowered to speak and make decisions on behalf of the entire state party delegation. The executive board, sometimes called the e-board, is made up of about 10% of the membership of the entire Democratic State Central Committee. That comes to about 300 people. Aside from your individual vote at the convention, or potentially the e-board, there are a couple of other ways you can participate in decision making if you're a delegate to the state party. You can be on a standing committee, or you can be in a caucus. Any delegate to the state party is eligible to be on a standing committee, but must be appointed by the state party chair. The function of each of the nine standing committees is enshrined in the party bylaws because each committee addresses an ongoing need that the party has. The standing committees are important because they allow a small number of delegates, usually 15 to 25, to focus on very specific parts of party business that require a lot of continuous and ongoing work. The caucuses, on the other hand, are self-organized groups who represent certain constituent groups within the party. There are currently about 20 of the caucuses, including the African American Caucus, the Labor Caucus, and the Veterans Caucus. Each caucus must include at least 1% of the entire state party delegation, but is otherwise allowed to determine its eligibility requirements for membership. This means that some caucuses have members, and some caucuses even have officers, who are not delegates. Both the standing committees and caucuses generally meet at every convention and e-board meeting. So what do delegates or their proxies do at the state convention? We've already mentioned that they elect party officers, including regional directors. They also approve the state platform for the party, make decisions on resolutions and endorsements, and vote on other party business. Sometimes a particular issue of importance or interest will be addressed in a standing committee meeting. So delegates often attend those meetings to make their voices heard, even when they are not members of the committee. Of course, there are a lot of active Democrats in California who are not delegates. If you want to get more involved or want to be a delegate in the future, there are a number of things you can do. You can join a Democratic club in your community. These volunteer groups generally meet once a month and do a lot of important work it takes to elect Democrats and support Democratic values. You can attend and participate in your county central committee. County committees generally meet monthly at a regular time and place. The meetings are open to all Democrats and many county committees offer associate memberships as ways for Democrats to participate even if they are not elected members. Also, the county committee members generally are allowed to select an alternate who can vote in their place when they can't attend a meeting. A lot of delegates and a lot of county committee members first got involved as alternates on a county committee. You can attend and participate in your assembly district election meetings. Check our website and sign up for our email to get more information about the ADEMs as they get closer. You can also volunteer for the state party. We always need volunteers at our meetings and during election season. It's a very exciting time to be a California Democrat. To learn more about the California Democratic Party, visit our website and get involved. Thanks for your engagement and for helping make California and the world a better place to be.